So you've successfully created a development certificate. You've downloaded it and it's installed into Keychain Access. Now, at this point, we want to make sure that we add our device IDs to the uh, registered devices that we have. Now, as you add them, uh, it's fairly simple. You click Add Devices, you give it a name that you want to remember it by, and then you copy the 40-digit uh, ID, the UDID, and you can find that in iTunes. If you click the serial number, it'll turn into the 40-digit code. You copy that and you paste it in here and then you submit it. Once it's been submitted, then you have it showing up in this list. Now at this point, you have a device listed and then you have what we call an app ID. An app ID is required to associate with your applications that you develop so that when you create them and you install them to your device you want to have an ID that is unique and it can be a wildcard but then when you compile you have a you know you you put a unique ID at the end of it and we'll show that as we get there but at this point you use an app ID to associate with an app that's specific for um, like if you do an update you want to use the same ID for that update uh, also, if you want to do certain things like push notifications or in-app purchase or Game Center, then it has to be a unique app ID, and we won't talk about that at the moment, but for now we just want to create a generic one. So go ahead and click New App ID, and at this point, let's just call it iBrent, and this will be the description. We want to call it com tutorials by ibrint dot and then we'll give it a star and the reason for that is you can use uh, the star to say you know if you create multiple applications that uh, for development purposes this makes it simple so go ahead and choose submit and then at that point we need to create a provisioning profile now Currently, when we click over to Provisioning Profile, we're in development. Everything that we're doing right now is development. I'll do another tutorial when we talk about distribution, but that's a little different. Development, you want to create a new profile. Now, what we've done is we've created a certificate, we have an app ID, and we have a device or devices. You have to have all three associated with the Provisioning Profile in order to compile against so that you can put the apps onto your devices. So we select the certificate that we've created, we select the app ID that we've created, and then we select the devices that we want associated with that. This is very important. The certificate you've installed to your keychain access, the app ID represents the apps for your development and your say you're creating a series of different apps that you can install onto your device. And then these are the devices that you will install too. Go ahead and click Submit. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Profile name. I knew that. We're going to call this our Dev Profile. Go ahead and click Submit. And it's going to refresh the screen. Now, it's going to do the same pending thing, but uh, it's real simple. All you got to do is refresh the browser a couple times, and you'll be able to get it now you go ahead and download that and later when we go to build uh, we'll reference that provisioning profile but that's how you create provisioning profile for your development